It's Tita's night out! Woo! Tap, tap, party! Just kidding, I'm not gonna party today, but I am gonna have fun. I'm gonna have my friends over, my make-believe friends, because they're not actually coming over. Uh, when I have friends over, what I wanna do is bring out the color and the festiveness and everybody. So I'll be preparing three different types of dishes, very colorful, things that give me memories of the beach and just like sunset cocktails and everything. I will be having one cocktail of course and what better way to serve beautiful food than having a beautiful table for it so we are going to be tablescaping for the first time on this show because it's the second ep. So I hope you're ready for another episode of Lost in the Sauce. And today's apron, woo! Inspired by Dua Lipa because I love her and I love to listen to her music when my friends are over. And of course, let's bring out the sunshine in all of us, right? Look at this beautifulness of butterflies and feathers. Feathers in my face. For recipe one, we will be doing one of my favorite salads, which is an ad like salad. Again, this can be substituted with, with any um, grain you want, quinoa, rice, or even just to scrap it and use leaves. But we are going to use ad lai. I know there are a lot of ingredients today. Don't get overwhelmed. Just prep everything in advance, and I promise you it is going to be a breeze. So we have our cooked ad lai already. So this is cooked just like rice, if you guys are going to ask. What is ad lai po? Well, ad lai is grain found in Bukidnon. And it is more filling than rice, but way more healthy because it doesn't have the amount of sugar that rice has. Super easy. We are going to add some black beans. So these are just canned black beans. We are going to put some corn. Jalapenos. I love jalapenos. Gives it a good kick. There we go. Some red onions. Some red bell pepper. And then we are going to put a bit of lime zest, but we're going to prepare our sauce for this. To this, we are going to add some olive oil. Of course, this kind of blends all the flavors together and some salt. So make sure it's well mixed because you don't want that super salty bite. Now we are just going to plate it into our serving dish. We are going to prep our extra sauce, which I like because it's a Mexican flavor kind of thing. So we need our Greek yogurt in there. Some garlic, maybe a clove is enough. Some lime, don't be afraid with the lime. <laughs> and some salt again, mix that together. When it's nicely blended, we're just going to put it on one side of our dish. Prep your avo. Try not to break it because we kind of want to fan it out when we're plating it. There we go. Oh, this is a nice ripe one. It's kind of hard to find good avos sometimes, but this one is beautiful. Slowly fan it on the top of our salad. Put in some lime wedges. And there we go. Our salad is ready. That was quick. Next, we're going to be doing just a nice grilled salmon with mango salsa for that freshness and tropical feel and salmorejo which is something you guys have asked a lot about i post it a lot i make it at least once a week it's kind of like a gazpacho but better let's prep our salmon so this is super basic so you just cover your salmon in salt put some oil on your pan while that's heating up i'm going to prepare the bacon so you don't need much because this is just for the topping of the salmorejo later now that our oil is Heating up here, let's put our salmon, skin down, obviously. Now, while this is getting hot and crispy, let's prepare our salmorejo, which is a super easy cold soup to make. It's just like gazpacho, but even better. All you need is tomatoes. Tomatoes is the star ingredient in salmorejo. It's actually from Spain, and they really enjoy it there during the summer. I like to add some red bell peppers into it to give it more of a oomph taste. Garlic. So this is tricky because some garlics are really strong, some are not. Uh, I just start with one small one. Actually, I even put half because it's a small portion. You don't want it too strong because again, this is not going to be cooked. It's Everything's just raw, including the onions. So you don't want it to be too strong on the breath. Some sherry vinegar and olive oil. Olive oil, loads of it. 
some salt, and so you can do without bread, baguette, but they thicken the soup with the inside of a baguette. So you don't use the crust, you just use the white part. Now let's blend this together. And that's it. Let's taste it so you know if you want to add anything else. So basically what we're going to do with this is stick it into the fridge until we're ready to plate it. We are going to prep our egg. So we're basically just going to open it because later I'm going to grate it on top of the soup to make it look nice. Our salmon is just about done and our bacon is looking perfect. <laughs> Finally. This would be perfect with a quick and easy mango salsa. So like the name says it, all you need is fresh mangoes. Chop, put some red onions in there, some chopped tomatoes. Okay, let's mix that all up together. There we go. I'm going to add some green bell peppers, some lime. You can use calamansi, no problem. My jalapeno. Look at those colors, how they blend so nicely together. Some salt and some olive oil. And that is pretty much it. Be generous on the oil. It's a salsa sauce. Mix that up together. And we're going to set this aside. What's a Tita's night out without some alki, baby? Yes, and of course, nothing screams Tita and mommy more than margarita. For those margarita lovers out there, you're probably not all moms, but trust me, this becomes your favorite drink when you become one. I'm gonna make my own version, which is calamansi mango, because I love those two flavors mixed together. Let's start with some triple sec. One half ounce, boom. Hmm. So the funny thing about tequila is that I actually don't like it on its own. I cannot stand the taste of it. But in a margarita, I don't know, it's just a whole different story. I'm gonna put in some calamansi. If you want it a little bit sweeter, you can use the calamansi syrup, the ones that you already pre-buy, but I prepared some simple syrup. So let's just put a bit. Tequila is strong, so it's nice to mask it with sweetness. We have our mango. So this is a lime that's quite not that ripe, but we will work with it. Okay, and we're gonna put some ice and blend it. And it's that simple. Frozen margarita. This is something I love to drink on the beach. Look at this perfect mother. This is going to make my invisible mommies happy. We are going to choose our mint because I want some freshness and bam, bring the flavors out, guys. There we go. And you have your margarita making me happy. Wait, I see the beach, some birds singing. This is it. I don't even need my friends anymore. You're my friend. Tablescaping. So this is one of my favorite parts when I have people come over. It's decorating the table. And why it's important, it's because it gives importance to the meal. And of course, it makes your guests feel special. Again, I'm working with what I have from my house. So I don't have beautiful gold utensils, but we'll make it work. A few tips I can give you for tablescaping is choose a theme first. Uh, my theme is uh, summer prairie <laughs> for titas. Choose colors. Usually you choose three colors uh, and blend those together. There's a rule in design. Everything comes in three. So if you want to do three candle holders, three types of plates, three types of placemats, it's always the rule of three. And just use things that you have in your garden. So we've cut up a few leaves. 
Always make sure you have a centerpiece. And if your table is big enough, you want to play with heights and textures. So I have this for height, but I don't have that many friends coming over. So let's, let's start and let's see what happens. First, I chose my Filipino placemats because I love everything the Philippines makes. So let's start with this. We want to layer also. Layering is important since I'm also pretending to be eating outdoors. I got these plates that are actually plastic. These are amazing. You can throw them and they don't break. It gives a very nice color to your food as well. So obviously our tones here are blues. These are pretty. They're all different, but they're all kind of in the same color pot. So this will work as well. I'll put this here. Napkins. We need napkins. Again, to make a napkin look bonga, you get napkin holders. Kind of go this way. There, this is how we're gonna place them. You need to also manage your time, so <laughs> prepare all the ingredients. Maybe do your table first and then cook. Plates, looking pretty already. And from here, I'm going to work with the centerpiece because I don't have so much space. So I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. So let's first put these, since it's a little tropical E. Again, we're working with a small table, so let's try and make it work. I'm going to place this. Looking good, looking good. Let's just stick two glasses. Blue, again, since most of my things are blue. It is a small table, guys. Again, since I'm having Britain friends today, let's just set for me, <laughs> for two. There you go guys, simple tablescaping. I hope you guys <laughs> learned a lot from my very good techniques. Next time I shall learn how to tablescape around small table. But just look at this. Since I have no one actually coming today and it's just me, I am going to dig in and devour. So I'm gonna have a bit of my salad here. Let me try this first. It is so tasty and it's full of different textures with the crunch of the onion and the corn and the softness of the beans. Very easy to do, very easy to eat. And goes well with the salmon, which I'm also going to have a bite of. And our salmoreo. So this is actually a big portion. If I were to serve it for friends, this would be like good for two. No shyness, get a bit of the tomato, the bacon and the egg. Mm. This will always be one of my favorite soups. Super refreshing. Really easy to make. Very well balanced meal, super healthy. Girls will love it. And with that little margarita, and you're ready to go dancing. Here you have it, three of my favorite dishes to prepare at home. Super quick, super easy, really refreshing. Will impress your guests, of course, with this beautiful table. I hope my simple tips help you guys, and I hope you guys join me on the next episode of Lost in the Sauce. Now I'm gonna get lost in my food, guys, so get lost.